I first realized the amazing potential of this one particular Indonesian food when I was obsessed with bodybuilding. I was doing my undergrad in the capital of Indonesia, Jakarta, when I tried every single source of protein that I had access to. I tried consuming whey protein, meat, egg, and milk almost every day. However, consuming these foods either left me financially broke or bloated. So using my biotechnology and food science background, I began searching for scientific publications for better alternatives exist out there. Well, to my surprise, the answer is tempeh. Tempeh is a fermented food, typically made using soybeans, that originated in Indonesia 300 years ago. Since then, it has been a staple due to its taste and affordability. It's a type of food that you would get if you can't afford meat. So it's basically a source of protein and a meat replacer, if you will. After dedicating five years to completing my PhD in food science on temper fermentation, in 2021, myself and other experts published the Tempe Bible. So we summarized more than 50 years of Tempe publications and on Tempe fermentation also, and here are some insights that we'd love to share with you today. First one, on nutrition, compared to beef, Tempe contains similar amounts of protein, energy, and iron. Significantly, lower amounts of saturated fat and salt and significantly higher levels of fiber and calcium. Secondly, it's about the energy efficiency. So that means how many grams of protein that we can produce for every unit of energy. Here is megajoule. So beef produces 4.4 grams of protein while tempeh produces 17.3 grams of protein. That is almost four times more energy efficient. And third is about the emission efficiency. That means how many grams of protein that we can produce for every kilogram of carbon dioxide equivalent of greenhouse gas released to the environment. Beef produces 7.1 grams of protein while tempeh produces 157.8 grams of protein. So that is more than 20 times more emission efficient. Last but not least, in terms of cost, tempeh can be eight times cheaper than beef in Indonesia for the price per kilogram of food. So tempeh is nutritious, sustainable, and affordable. Well, these figures are mind-blowing facts to me as I imagine they are to you right now. But for quite a while, Tempe has been my way of realizing my life calling, which is to give people access to nutritious, sustainable, and affordable sources of protein. However, after co-running the Indonesian Tempe movement and the UK-based plant-based food startup, Better Nature, there's been one interesting thing about Tempe that most people have not fully aware of is that tempeh is not just a food. Tempeh is a fermentation process that can transform a huge variety of ingredients into more delicious and sustainable foods. The fermentation process binds its ingredients with this one white body fungi, make it sliceable so you can cook it just like meat. Well now, can you imagine if we shared the skills of tempeh fermentation to all corners of the world? Many crops will find new ways to be cooked. Many inedible ones would find their ways onto people's plates. We would see new kinds of tempeh that we would never imagine before. But more importantly, we would have access to an amount and quality of food that we've never had before. Well, this movement has actually started. So based on publications, there are actually 21 crops that have been successfully made into tempeh and meat alternatives. They can be incorporated in favorite local recipes. And even sometimes, these tempeh-based dishes have been preferred over their original meat-based versions. Now, let's take a look at some examples. We have white bean tempeh burger in Brazil. 
we have fava bean tempeh wort, a traditional stew in Ethiopia. We have buckwheat tempeh soba noodle in Japan. We have common bean fried tempeh for reading food as well in Nigeria and Tanzania. We have lupin tempeh meat alternatives, so vegan meats in Europe. We have hemp seed tempeh sandwich in North America. But not only that, until now, I keep discovering new local or even ancient crops have been successfully made into tempeh. Here in Molo, Nusa Tenggara Timur, Indonesia, a food activist made tempeh out of rice bean incorporated in his local version of sourdough sandwich. And lima beans, famous in South America, typically require 12 boiling cycles to remove its natural toxin. These beans can be made more red readily edible and safe to consume with tempeh fermentation. Now, with all those amazing facts about tempeh and tempeh fermentation, I would like to end my talk with an invitation to imagine. Have you ever wondered how widely popular foods like pizzas and burgers spread to all corners of the world? Well, interestingly, it happened through a crisis, World War II to be exact. People needed an inexpensive, practical, and delicious way to feed themselves. That's why these foods stepped in to help people on that front. Well, now, we've never been in a more serious crisis than what we are in now, the climate crisis. Now, this is the time when tempeh fermentation needs to spread to all corners of the world as Indonesia's best kept secret on how to produce nutritious, sustainable, affordable, and delicious foods. Thank you for your attention. I hope you can join this tempeh movement. Thank you.